Update 2 on Typhoon Nari, which is currently now a Category 3 typhoon with wind speeds of 115 miles per hour sustained, a pressure of 948 millibars, current positions 15.7 degrees north, 124.3 degrees east, which puts it just north of uh, the southern reaches of Luzon in the Philippines and just east of the uh, main book of the island, which is likely to make landfall there as a strong Category 2 storm, maybe even Category 3 intensity. That's what it is right now, of course, and then continue on to the west over into the South China Sea eventually as a mineral typhoon where it could re-strengthen into a category 2 or 3 storm down the line before making landfall probably in Vietnam in about 4 or 5 days time. So right now we have signal 3 warnings in effect for Aurora, that province in the Philippines there along the eastern coast, signal 2 warnings in many other areas in central Luzon right now and signal 1 warnings for uh, even more locations to the south and north of that um, area under the signal 2 and 3 warnings at the moment. So we could be seeing some strong winds over the, the um, Luzon Island, over the northern Philippines, over the next few days. Um, the, these, this graphic here shows the red areas, areas that may receive typhoon conditions in the next 24 hours and the orange areas marked in orange uh, with um, tropical storm conditions over the next 24 hours possible, um, as you can see here on this graphic there. Obviously a typhoon 115 miles per hour which is a fairly strong storm category 3, sea surface temperatures certainly conducive for possibly further intensification if the Philippines was only not in the way, um, but that does mean that there could be some intensification on the other side of the islands with 30 degree waters uh, certainly along the other side at least initially as the storm moves towards the west. You can see the CMC model here um, has the storm moving a little bit further south than what the forecast currently says which is certainly interesting after the landfall in the Philippines. A little bit of a jog to the south there um, but eventually having the, having the storm weakening and eventually dissipating over in the Gulf of Tonkin after bypassing the um, Hainan Island in China. Uh, the GFS model is a bit more of a direct route you can see as it moves through the Philippines and then into the South China Sea pretty much a direct westward heading all the way up until just the final approach up to Vietnam where it eventually turns towards the south. Uh, here's the latest satellite imagery moving towards the west at the moment you can see possibly a bit of an eye forming there um, as the storm passes just north of uh, the Catanduans Island in the Philippines and then eventually likely to impact the mainland. You can see the spiral bands, uh, particularly towards the west and southwest of the storm, affecting the Philippines already. But you can see the bulk of the um, main intense, in, um, intense showers and thunderstorms around the central core of the storm, mainly towards the south and possibly towards the east as well. Uh, but you can see it's wrapping around rather nicely the centre of the storm and you can see an eye popping out in the next few hours. We may have that. Um, certainly be interesting to see what goes on and obviously that for those in the Philippines definitely a time to prepare and indeed um, get ready for such a storm which could strike as a category 3 typhoon. So right now in the world tropics we have quite a few systems active, the remnants of NADA in the, in the eastern Pacific, uh, Invest 94E not too far from Mexico, Invest 98L in the central Atlantic, uh, uh, Cyclone Phelan, which is currently 155 miles per hour, just short of Category 5 intensity. And of course, two storms now in the Pacific Ocean, the Western Pacific, Typhoon Nari, just east of the Philippines, and Tropical Storm Wifa, which has just formed in the past few hours, just, uh, just west of Guam in the uh, Mariana Islands. And that's likely to move towards the northwest and not affect land, at least for the next few days. That would be our 22nd tropical storm, but this graphic is not yet updated. Um, it's the 10th typhoon, this storm in particular, uh, Nari, the 10th typhoon so far. It was the 21st tropical storm and indeed is now the 5th storm to reach Category 3 intensity, uh, 115 miles per hour or higher. Um, it would be in 60th position, but with the formation of the 22nd storm, I believe that would put us up to 56th position or 57th, somewhere around there uh, compared to all the other seasons. Uh, which is not too far from uh, the halfway point, I, I suppose. Uh, this is the current situation on the website, slightly out of date, but um, keep checking on the website in between these videos for the most up-to-date information. You can track any storm out there on the website, force13.com forward slash stormtracking.html. That's the main page for it. There you're presented with the overview map showing where all the storms are, including invest and post-tropical storms, with tables at the top bottom showing the intensities and indeed any warnings that are currently in effect. Obviously, we have... Uh, a few warnings in effect for the Philippines right now. Signal 3 warnings are the most severest um, of them at the moment. Signal 4 is obviously the highest in the Philippines that can ever be um, given. Elsewhere on the web you can also find us Facebook and Twitter to search Force 13. You should find us fairly easily enough and as always.
please do show support by any usual means of engagement, liking, subscribing, commenting, favoriting, or uh, following, or anything else you can think of. And if you have any comments on the storm, any questions, or any um, information you may want to know, uh, just send in a comment on the YouTube page, or indeed by private message if you so wish, and I'll get back to you in due course. Uh, the next update on this storm will probably follow at about 3pm UTC on Friday the 11th of October 2013, but until then, uh, that's all for now. Stay safe out there.